Good morning, Year 6. Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, today's activity for reading is going to be an inference task. Some of you might think, oh, I don't know what that means. So we'll discuss that shortly in a second. So far, we've read up to Chapter 10. Uh, Mrs. Tice and myself, uh, we really hope you've enjoyed it. We've been enjoying reading to you. Uh, and obviously we haven't had a lot of activities to do so far. We did a little bit of a prediction activity, which was great. Thank you very much. Um, but now we're going to really try and focus on coming to some sort of conclusion, which leads me back to what the word inference means. We're basically going to look at evidence from what we've read so far to make a conclusion, to make a decision. Now, with that, we've got a question we'd like to ask you. So our question we'd like to ask you so far from the book that we've read up to chapter 10 is whether or not you feel that Martine is a lucky girl. Now, she's obviously been through a lot so far in a short space of time. If you think we're only up to chapter 10, you cast your mind back to when you did your problems and puzzle sheet. And you wrote down things you liked, you disliked, the themes, the questions. That might help trigger you a little bit to just remember what's happened so far. Obviously, you've got the videos on YouTube, on the school website, that you can go back and listen to again uh, whenever you like. They're there for you. Um, and that, again, might just recap a few things, help you out, make you come to a decision on whether or not you think Martine is a lucky girl. Now, in a second... I'm going to show you a sheet uh, and what the question looks like and then give you a couple of examples to help you. But before I do that, what I'd like you to do is pause the video here when I say stop and just write down whether or not you think she's lucky or unlucky at where she's at in her life at the moment. And a few reasons, just a few bullet points and then come back to me when you've done that. And then I'll just show you a couple of examples of how I'd go about answering a question like is Martine a lucky girl? OK, pause the video now. Thank you. Welcome back, Year 6. I hope you were able to write down lots of different ideas uh, to why you think Martine is a lucky girl or why you think she may be unlucky. Um, what we have here is what the sheet will look like or something similar to this. Um, it just shows you Martine is a lucky girl. Do you agree with the statement? Use evidence from the text to support your answers. So once you've watched the video of me today, um, underneath will be a link with this um, sheet on there. So you can just add in what you'd like underneath. So we want to take it away from just bullet points and try and put things into sentences. So what I've done for you, let me just change it over to here. There we go. What I've done for you is written in a couple of sentences to help you. So if I just make sure, there we go. That's nice for you. So again, as you can see, this is what the sheet looks like. And underneath, I've written a few sentences for you just to help us out a little bit. So I'm just going to scroll that down slightly so we can see what I've written. There we go. Ah, there we go. I've got a good few examples for you. So the first one, as you can see, I'll just zoom in a bit. I'll read it to you and I'll just say, here I am. So Martin could be described as being unlucky because her granddad is already dead and she will never get to know him. That's just one short sentence and one reason why you could describe her as being unlucky. On the other hand, Martine might feel that she is lucky because she survived the fire and her parents sadly didn't. The fire brigade said that if she had opened the door, she would have most certainly been killed. So there's a reason why Martine might feel that she is lucky. And as you can see, I'm just putting it into sentences. So we use on the other hand to put another point across. So the first one I described her as being unlucky. The second one I went to the other side and I said, Martine might feel that she is lucky. So on the other hand, a different side of the argument. Another one underneath, I've said, she's also unlucky. So also adding an additional thing in. I might start with additionally. Additionally, she's unlucky due to the fact that she has to go straight to school when she arrives in South Africa. There was no time for her to settle in at all. So they're just a couple of ideas that came to me and I just put them into short sentences, uh, one after the other, and trying to start with different openers as well. What I'll do is pause the video again now and if you can go back to your work and try and turn your bullet points into nice sentences and try and start with one as an unlucky feature and then on the other hand, uh, a lucky feature for Martine and so on. And then I'll show you a few other ideas that you might want to do if you're struggling. 
Um, I hope that's really helpful for you. Um, so if you pause the video now and you want to add to your bullet points and turn them into sentences, that would be fabulous. Pause now. Welcome back year six. So I hope you're really getting to grips with what an inference task is. Just reminding you that all we're trying to do is decide whether or not we think Martine is lucky from what we've read so far. It's as simple as that. And we just try and use evidence from the book and different things that have jumped out and stuck in our memories and things that we've really remembered happening so far on Martine's journey. And you're really just deciding your opinion, whether or not you think Martine is lucky or unlucky. It's really good to put both sides of the argument in when you're writing such a, uh, a task, such as an inference task, because it gives a balanced argument. So there's a couple of other ideas that I want to show you. So I'm just going to pause the video now and then flip it around so I can show you um, the last few ideas. And then perhaps you can turn some of my ideas into sentences too, if you've been struggling to come up with your own. So as you can see, Year 6, I've been very busy. I've written a few more for you. Um, and obviously, there's some that I've just left as quite short, almost bullet points, and I'll point them out in a second. So another one of... Uh, Another one that I put together at the start, I started with the word however. So I said, however, comma, it is hard to say for certain, as Grace had previously mentioned that she had a gift and that it could be a blessing or a curse. Martine may feel confused by this and feel that the gift caused the fire or perhaps it saved her. So there'd be a lot of confusion from Martine there. And that's one really that I've put together where we're looking into whether or not Martine feels herself if she's lucky or unlucky. Another opinion could be that Martine is considered to be lucky because even though her parents have died, she is still being looked after and cared for. Again, that's just another reason, another opinion, why, while some of us might feel that Martine might be lucky. Hopefully you've come up with these on your own and you can see, oh yeah, I got that one, oh yeah, I got that one. Um, then I've got a few extra ones for you at the bottom. So you can see it says she is lucky because she is living with her grandmother. You could expand on that. You could explain further. You might disagree. You might think that's unlucky. Um, depends how you have um, taken sort of an interpretation of what the grandmother is like at the moment. She is lucky because she gets to go to a really nice school with a swimming pool. And it said that it is like an eco lodge. That does sound good. Perhaps Martine is lucky because she introduced, she was introduced into the popular group. So she would have lots of friends in the school. Again, you might have a different opinion on that. And if you want to expand on any of those sentences, please do. The bottom one I've put for you says she is lucky because she gets to go and live in South Africa and she lives on a game reserve. Martine has also made a friend in Tendai who seems lovely. So again, you might want to expand on that last one. So they're just some ideas for you. And if you can really try and um, stretch your sentences, put more detail, put your own opinion in there, um, as much evidence as you can to back those opinions up from the chapters that we've read so far, that would be great. So year six, I think we've given you everything you need. Um, hopefully you had opportunity to uh, pause the video in certain parts, um, have a go yourself, then check with what we've done, add to your work, um, up-level that. Once you've done everything and you're really happy with it, please send it through to us. We'd love to read your opinions of whether or not Martine is lucky or unlucky. Um, we look forward to reading another chapter next week. Tomorrow we are going to do a vocab map uh, and again I shall model that for you to help you out and there'll be opportunities for you to pause in the appropriate places. Take care, have a wonderful day and thank you for all your hard work. We really, really appreciate it. Bye.